to make sure you see all my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Last year I made a video about how to make tall videos for our Instagram. Number one comment was, can we do this in iMovie? The answer is yes. Let's get started and it's with Keynote. Open up a presentation, doesn't matter which size or template is used. Just go ahead and select one. Then you're going to hit Command A and hit Delete so it deletes everything on the screen. I'm going to reduce the size of the zoom on the slide so you can see what I am working on. And then we're gonna go over to the Document tab and then we're going to change the size of the slide. In the area where it says slide size, we're gonna change it from a 16 by nine to, in this case, a 1080 by 1350. I'm going to go ahead and reduce the zoom one more time so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to pull in a video file that I got from VidCon last year. If any of you are headed to VidCon, comment below VidCon. I want to know who's going. You're going to see the video file dropped on top of that slide. And I'm just going to go ahead and it does have a center line that's going to pop up automatically when you start dragging it around. I'm going to reduce the zoom one more time. I'm going to stretch out these edges so it fills up the slide. And you can see how large it is because the slide is behind it. So you know how large you need to make it. And of course, as you zoom out you're only going to see what is in the center of the frame you're not going to get more than that so just keep that in mind when you're filming that you're only going to get what's kind of in the center of the video you can go ahead and play it back if you want to just to test that everything is working correctly here mine is you can see that those words are going to get cut off and that's totally all right you're going to go and export it and you are going to go up to file export export as video file now this is an important note, even though you've changed the file size of the slide, you need to change of the resolution on the output. So make sure, go ahead and change the output to a custom, and it's gonna be that 1080 by 1350 dimensions that we used for the slide. I'm gonna go ahead and name this one exported four by five, and then just to demonstrate for you the other sizes that you might want to use on Instagram, for example, one might be the 1080 by 1080. I'm gonna open up a new slide and that is going to be a 1080 by 1080. So I'm just gonna change that so then it's going to be a square format. We're gonna go through all the same steps, just making sure that what is showing in the center of the square is what the video is going to show. Then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to file, export, make sure on the export resolution it is selected as 1080 by 1080. And then lastly, I'm going to do this one more time in the Instagram story size of the 9 by 16. So it's going to be that tall video, super tall video that you would use for stories. I'm going to do the same thing, change the slide size. I'm going to stretch out the video, but this time I'm going to make one change and I'm going to go ahead and throw some text up on the screen. This could come in really handy if you wanted to have a different color background, if you wanted to animate your text, you can do whatever you want back here. And I'm just going to go ahead and say text here, subscribe, whatever it is. And then when you export this video, you're also going to see that all the text is going to be on the screen. So this can come in really handy if you want to do video and text on the same slide, especially if your video doesn't look very good by it being stretched out. We're going to do the same export process as the past couple of videos. Just make sure when you're doing it, it's going to be that 1080 by 1920 size. And then we're going to put this all together. I'm going to play all of these different videos in the different sizes so you can see what they look like side by side. First up is the original video in the 16 by 9 format, which is 1920 by 1080. I'm going to go ahead and play it here. The second one is going to be the exported 4x5, which is the 1080 by 1350 which is ideal for Instagram videos. The next is the exported 1x1, which is the 1080 by 1080 square video. And last but not least is going to be the story size, which is 1080 by 1920 And that's how easy it is to use Keynote to do three different sizes of videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I put out a new video every week. I can't wait to hang out with you guys again. I'll see you very soon. Bye!